Today, we will be talking about Oracle Zero Downtown Migration on how can you migrate your on-premises databases to the Oracle Cloud, specifically to the autonomous database. This demo is brought to you by the Oracle Brazil Solution Center by Vinicius Calixto and Diego Teruel. This demo will start with a migration job. You'll see soon two screens. One terminal on the left that has a ZDM migration job and on the right we will be actually following the logs that ZDM generates. As you can see here, there are different elements from ZDM to take into consideration. So ZDM is a command line product and here we're issuing a migrate database command with specific information for SSH, connectivity to the source and target, a specific response file with information pertaining to this migration and as you can see here, a pause after flag or option that is telling ZDM, perform a migration, but when you reach the phase where you have to monitor the Golden Gate lag, please pause so we can do some testing and then later resume. Once we issue the migration command, ZDM will ask for different passwords from the source database, target database, Golden Gate, etc. authentication for OCI. And once those are provided by you, ZDM will issue the migration job, but also will um, provide a specific job ID number. This number is really important because then you can query the migration what is running in the background. For this specific migration, the job ID is 99, which we'll be using throughout this demo for querying and seeing the status of the migration. We will use this ZDM provided job ID to query the job on the left, as you can see, and you can see all the different faces that ZDM is ex executing uh, for this specific migration job. And on the right, we are going to do a tail of the logs, specifically the job logs that are being generated by ZDM at this time. This particular migration job uses ZDM automation for logical online migration. So it relies on data pump for the export and import and then instantiation of the target database and Golden Gate for the synchronization. We'll keep querying the job on the left side and see how it's going and progressing. And on the right, we're going to see all the different steps and logs that ZDM is generating. We will keep querying the job on the left and seeing the, the logs on the right until we reach the ZDM monitor Golden Gate lag phase, in which in that case, ZDM is just waiting for no lag on the Golden Gate side so that they can then perform the switch over to our target database. But we're doing this um, monitoring because exactly in that phase, we asked ZDM to pause so we can do some testing. And as you can see here, the job is now paused. ZDM is not doing anything, it's just waiting. But Golden Gate keeps up replicating between the source database and the target autonomous database we're migrating to. And we're going to verify that the replication is still ongoing by doing some DML at the source level and then checking the target. So we'll now connect to the source database and then to the target database. You're going to see two terminals. On the left side, we're going to be showcasing the source database and on the right side, the target database. And then we'll do operations and you can see what's happening on both of them. So now we're going to do a select from the employee table at the source database on premises and the same employee table at the target database. This will show that the migration actually took place and both databases are in sync. We're now going to go to the source database and the target database and do a select on the employee table for unexisting records, right? Once we prove the records are not there, we're going to go to the source database and do an insert of those records, do a select again, show the records are there, and then go to the target database and do a select of those records, and they're there. So even if the migration was paused, this means that Golden Gate kept doing its job, which was keeping in sync the source database and the target database, and the DML operations in the source are now replicated and will kept be replicating until we continue the migration via Golden Gate. We're now going to resume the ZDM job with the job ID provided, and we're going to tail the logs on the right side. ZDM will then continue the migration by doing the switch over the application and cleaning up everything that was set up for the migration process. And we'll keep up 
querying the migration job so that we're sure that the migration is fully completed and then and successfully and ZDM will then exit gracefully. And this is how the logical online migration workflow works for migrating a database to the Oracle Cloud, specifically to the autonomous database. If you want to learn more about ZDM, please visit our website www.oracle.com slash go to slash ZDM where you can download a product, see our documentation, step-by-step -step guides, and also our live labs that have a really good way of working and providing a workshop for you to learn how to use ZDM.